Hey, my name is Ian with Evo Organic, and we are introducing our Aria Vertical Ecoscapes. This is our vertical plant modular system, and we're going to be showing you how to install a two tier unit, and we call this a double beauty. Uh, first, we want to talk about what comes with when you order it. This is a PC12 core unit. We have two of these. This is our pump. We have quarter inch drip tubing. Here's our connectors for our irrigation, screws. And these are to put our brackets up, and it also comes with a base too, and this is our reservoir. So first I want to talk about our PC12 plant unit. Um, it's called PC12. There are 12 5 inch pot holes. These are for the plants. The quarter inch drip tubing is going to run across the top in a T fashion. And we're going to have two units stacked on top, so it's going to run in a T fashion, drip to the different levels to both units. One thing you want to notice is these units snap together. That's where they snap in at the top and you have teeth on the bottom and that's how they snap in through there. Um, I want to talk about where the brackets go. On the back these are quarter 20 screw holes and these are already here. The brackets are going to screw into here and then we're going to screw brackets into the wall and we're going to be um, essentially hanging these PC12 units uh, onto the wall. Next, we'll talk about the base two. This is our reservoir. The PC12 unit is going to snap into here in the back. This is an inset for a grate. And there's also quarter 20 screws on the front and sides of this. And we'll talk about this later, but we're going to show you how to do trim packages in case you'd like to do that. On the side of the base two, we have drill points uh, to put a drain plug. So these are all your materials. When you order the R unit, I'm going to show you how to install it. Hello, this is Derek. Um, we want to talk about what you're going to need to do your installation. Um, we've got other parts that we talked about before, but we're going to need an um, electric screwdriver. We've got a small screwdriver for the holes and the brackets on the back of our PC12 unit. We've got some quarter inch wood screws. And the first thing we're going to do is we want to put the brackets into the back of the PC12 unit. Uh, the most important thing to note is these brackets have a lip on them, and I'll get you some screws here, Derek. We want to make sure the lip is facing down, and just like we have shown, this PC12 unit is going to hang onto the brackets onto the wall. So it's going to be just like a hanger system. We're going to put a bracket here and a bracket here and we're going to do this for both of the PC12 units. We're doing an interior installation with all the parts that come with your RA unit. If you'd like to take your RA unit outside you need to get metal brackets and those are called Z brackets. We just installed our brackets. The next thing we need to do is level our base. If we level the base when we install our hanging brackets to the wall they'll be lined up and we'll, we won't have any problems. Okay, the next thing we need to do after we level the base is we want to take our first PC12 unit, snap it into the base. Once we get this up here, we're going to get our brackets that we're going to mount to the wall and we're going to want to mark it where it goes. Okay, so we've got our first PC12 unit on top of our base. We've got our hanging brackets. We're marking on the wall where we're going to screw those in. Now we're going to remove the unit attach our brackets to the wall. So we know where our bracket needs to go. Like we said earlier, we had the lip facing down on the unit, the lip is facing up on the wall, and this so it hangs right in place. Making sure our bracket is level. Okay, for our interior installation, we are screwing into wood paneling. So we got one stud here, and we got these other two screws just into the wall here. When you're doing your interior installation, you want to make sure you get at least one stud. Two is best, but you just want to use common sense. When you fill this unit up with plants and soil and water, it's going to be heavy, so just use your best judgment. Okay, we've just finished putting the brackets in. We've snapped our RA unit into our base, and we're going to repeat these same steps for the second PC12 unit. Okay, we finished putting brackets into the wall for our second PC12 unit and we are snapping it into our other unit. 
Now, it's all ready. We're ready to start with the irrigation. We're ready to do our drip irrigation now. Let's quickly go over the parts that we're going to need to do that. We've got our pump, uh, the drip irrigation tubing, and the mounting brackets. And these mounting brackets we're going to use to mount our drip emitters at the top of our PC12 unit. And just quickly, I want to mention that we have a few upgrades that you can do with the irrigation. Uh, this is a float valve, and this is the same thing. Uh, this is in the back of your toilet. Uh, basically, water is going to come through here and exit here. This is a thumb screw to adjust the water levels, and you'll run this into a water source. This is going to go into the side of your base, too. We've drilled a half inch hole here on the side. This is where our water source is going to come through. Uh, we've adjusted our thumb screw and our float valve is set in here. Another thing that you can do with the pump, you can use automated timer. Pump plugs right into here and this plugs right into the wall. You can automate this for time and duration as long as you want. Okay, so now we're putting our end caps into our drip emitters and we're going to connect these to the T barb and these are going to go at the top of the PC12 unit and like we mentioned earlier, we're going to brace these against the back of the unit. And now we're connecting our drip emitters to our T-barb connector. All right, we're mounting our drip emitters to the top of our PC12 unit. These are our mounting brackets and our zip ties. We're going to first stick these to the back of the, the unit and we'll start from there. So. Okay, now we're going to feed our drip emitters to the top here, and Derek's got that side. We'll make sure we hold it still in place. We're going to take zip ties, tie it around the drip emitter and our mounting brackets in the back. Okay, we're repeating the same thing on the other side. Take your longer quarter inch drip tubing and run it through the top of your PC12 unit. We're going to attach it to our T-barb and the quarter inch drip tubing runs through the PC12 unit. At the bottom of each unit is a hole for the quarter inch drip tubing to run. We're going to run this all the way down to the base and attach it to our pump. Okay, so take your pump, screw in your swivel connector to the top. This is where the quarter inch drip tubing attaches. We're going to put our pump into our base reservoir. It's got suction cups. It's going to sit down at the bottom. And we're going to run our power cord out of the base. And we're going to attach our quarter inch tubing to the top of our swivel connector. Okay, very important. We're finished with our drip irrigation, but we want to test it, make sure it's okay before we put plants in. So we're going to fill our base reservoir up with water until our pump is submerged and we're going to plug it in. Um, we have four drip emitters at the top of our PC12 unit. Each emitter is a half gallon per hour and so it's going to be two gallons per hour. So once we plug it in we just want to make sure that water is coming from our drip emitters. Okay, we're ready to plant. Now uh, one thing I want to bring up is there's a couple different ways that you can plant. We want to do soil in our unit and for this we have some mesh filter at the bottom of our PC12 and this is so that when we fill it up with soil it doesn't clog our drain ports that drain into the PC12 unit below. Uh, another way to plant we can use uh, some coconut peat core, uh, some heavier duty thicker and we're going to use this to take up volume inside the unit and we can use biodegradable pots as well. So what we're going to do is with our, our pots here in our unit we have um, bot plants and these are six inch potted plants we can decorate our RA unit before we start uh, getting too dirty so we can see how our, our design looks and see what we think here before we get started. So we started off with some bigger plants but we decided to go with something a little bit more subtle and because the pots fit in our RA system we were able to rearrange without any problems. Got a piece of plastic to cover my base. Make sure there's no soil that gets in there. And I'm ready to start adding soil. Start with the bottom level. 
and I'm going to work all the way up. We are finished with our living plant wall. Keep in mind you can grow inside or out, along your deck rails, fencing, on the exterior of your house. We can stack units vertically, we can stack units side by side. We can grow flowers, vegetables, tropical plants, herbs. You can grow anything you want, anywhere you want. Now you have everything you need to transform your living space into a vertical ecoscape.